guys, Marley here, and welcome to a speed build, kind of. Um, today's video is a million simoleon renovation to my current off-screen household house. Yes, they won the lottery. It is the first time I have ever had a sim win the lottery, so I was uh, actually kind of bummed. It came at a really bad time because I was playing like a rags to riches story with them, and then they won the lottery and got a million dollars. Um, after I had spent, you know, weeks getting her through college and getting a job and living on nothing just to win the lottery. But anyway, I took this as an opportunity to renovate their home. Um, she did get a degree in biology and then went into the career that came with Eco Lifestyle, the one that is kind of, um, what's the word? The one where you try to save the environment, basically. Uh, sorry if you can hear something right now. My dog's, like, being a little jerk like usual, being loud, and the neighbors upstairs are trying to move furniture, so there's a lot of noise from that. But anyway, she did a degree in biology. She went into the eco-innovator career and is now trying to save the world. So I gave them kind of a green makeover um, with a really nice backyard. I gave them all these big modern windows to replace the ones they previously had. Gave them, like, wall planters and really just did like a whole expansion of the house. I also added a basement because this sim does have her little sister living with them. The little sister helps take care of their baby because both of the parents work a lot. So she's kind of like um, like a family au pair, you know? So uh, I renovated a basement, made it into kind of a little apartment for the sister. I also kind of a workspace for the mom to do her fabricating. So there's a fabrication machine down there. Um, I have a story in mind for the sister. Yeah, I tell stories with my sims even if I'm the only one playing. But I kind of want her, I, I don't know, I really want to do something fun with her. And I um, kind of want her to do the Jungle Adventure gameplay. I haven't actually finished the gameplay for Jungle Adventure ever because I found the temples really boring. But what I'm thinking is, is these two sims are still engaged. They're young adults. I started playing with them when they were both teenagers. Um, but the two, like, main couple are engaged, and they haven't gotten married yet. And I kind of want them to take, like, a big family honeymoon to Selva Dorada. And then while we're there, I'll play through the jungle adventure stuff with the younger sister. Um, so I'll get them to do, like, a big extended stay, like, three weeks. I think that would be cool. Or maybe a whole year. Maybe we'll stay a whole year in Selva Dorada. I mean, if you have the money, you won the lottery. Why not? You don't need to go to work. But anyway, I wanted to make this house look a little more interesting. I did some cutouts in the front and made some really small balconies um, just to kind of try to like change the shape up a little bit. I added these big flower planters everywhere. I gave the house a green roof and solar panels, really trying to make it more modern and more eco-friendly because that is what the wife does. Um, I also built, you're gonna see in a minute, this really cool playhouse in the backyard for the child. This is something that I'm really proud of. I saw someone else do this on Twitter and I really wish I could remember the name. If you're someone who follows me and you know I'm talking about you because I left a comment on your tweet and said I'm commenting on this so I don't forget your name later. And I did. And I can't check my phone because I'm using my phone to record my voiceover. I am so sorry. Um, but if you know who you are, please leave a comment and be like, it was me. I built the playhouse. But um. I basically just took an idea that someone else did on Twitter and did a way worse version of it. You know, I feel less bad about copying if it's a worse version. Um, currently, guys, I have been working on the next episode of my Eco Lifestyle Let's Play, but it has been very difficult. I am getting a cold. My throat hurts really bad. My ears are itchy. Um, I'm snotty. It's just really gross. And I've been working a new job, so I have been working 10-hour days every day, and... I'm realizing that by doing all three families in one, it's going to take three times as long to record the next part. So, um, Eagle Lifestyle is coming. It is just taking me a minute. I also just realized just now that I could have used a half wall on this playhouse instead of a fence and it would have worked so much better. Either way, it doesn't matter now. It's already done. Um, I used these pieces from Island Living to make, like, a little fake roof and then I used a fence to make the walls and then I put some toys in there and I think one of those weird art tables so that your sim kids would actually have a reason to climb up into the treehouse. Um, obviously right now I only have a toddler so they can't climb ladders anyway but they will grow up one day and then at that point I will uh, have a place for them to play. I thought it looked really cool and I thought it was just a sign of like 
you know, they're rich. Um, and that's kind of the vibes I wanted. I wanted these people are rich vibes. So you can see I'm using this fence in blue. I thought it kind of looked like, like wood paneling that would be on the outside of something like this, which is why I picked it. Um, and then I used some blue columns. Again, this does not look as good as the one that I saw on Twitter. Mine really turned out kind of shitty. Um, also in the works, guys, I am trying to get a new part of my Hardcore Minecraft series out. I'm just having so much frustration playing any games right now because my computer freaks out and I can't get any good recordings in. Sorry, I keep yawning. Oh my goodness, this is so rude. Um, my computer freaks out. I can't get any good recordings in. I was trying to record Eagle Lifestyle yesterday. I got the first bit recorded, but it took me two hours to get what will essentially be like 10 minutes of usable footage. Because my game just, like, freaks out and it starts spinning around and I can't do the controls. And, you know, I've complained about it a bunch of times. But it's, like, it makes it so hard to want to record. Even though I love making videos, I love telling stories. Um, it's just the fact that, like, my computer sucks so bad that it just won't let me do anything productive. But I'm going to try because I have work on Friday. I'm off today. So I'm going to try my absolute hardest to get in there and finish this part. It is a interconnected part, so the Sims do meet each other, um, and like, uh, I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to introduce all the families right now, but the, um, I know that Mariah and Cedric, if you haven't watched the series, they do meet each other, um, and so does Nadia's there too, they all met at the bar, it was really cute. Then I switched over to Mariah's part and started trying to record, and it was just so laggy that I was like, alright, I'm taking a break. Um, I took Athena and my dog to the park, we go to this park under the George Washington Bridge here in Manhattan. And a lot of dogs play off-leash there, so I was like, alright, I want to try. So I started letting her play off-leash a little bit, and obviously she's still a puppy, so she's not as well-trained. Um, but it's there's been no other dogs, because I've been going during like work hours, so it's been a really good opportunity to really work on her training. Because it's really, really, really hard to try to do like recall training or name training or anything like that on-leash. If you have a puppy, you know what I'm talking about. But you don't want to let them off leash until those things are really solid. So it's been um, a really good experience to take her out and let her run around and like play in the ocean and be somewhere where I'm not worried. There's no like cars around. There's no like, you know, like open roads. Like she could run. She'd have to run really, really far to find danger. And she's never like left that far from me. Um, and her recall is getting really good. What I've learned is that she will come to me every time I call if I have a good toy in my hand. So if I have like um, like a squeaky toy or something that I can squeak at her, she'll come every time. If I don't, we're still at about 50-50. Um, and we're really, we're working hard on it. I really want her to be well-trained. She is my emotional support dog. Um, and she's well-trained in that regard. Like she's flown on planes with me before and done stuff like that. And she is very good. Like on an airplane, perfect pup. She goes in the airport. She doesn't bother people. She stays by my side. She doesn't try to run off. When we see other dogs. She doesn't try to approach them. You know, she sat on the plane, so good, didn't make a mess, wasn't um, annoying or loud, like, perfect dog. But then it's like we go to, like, a park or something, and I think she feels like, like, you know, it's the park, so I can do whatever I want. And all of her, like, beautiful training that she's so good at goes right out the window. It's the worst. Uh, but I will have another chance to bring her on an airplane where she can really show off her skills because we are going home to visit my family in August if COVID allows it. I am super excited, guys. My first niece is being born. Um, my sister-in-law's daughter is my brother's daughter. I am genuinely more excited about this than I have been about anything in my entire life. And I'm just hoping that Texas can get their COVID cases under control or I won't be able to go. Because right now, if you go to Texas and you come back to New York, then you have to quarantine for 14 days. And so obviously I can't afford to um, miss seven days of work and then also miss, like, 14 days of quarantine days so we'll see what happens I mean we just have to hope for the best and right now I'm still hopeful I'm still hopeful because they opened up so quickly the first time that I'm pretty sure that they're going to start reopening things soon I'm hoping that um the parks are open so that I can take Athena out to like the big parks where there's lots of open land um and like little birds for her to chase and stuff stuff that she'll really enjoy um, but yeah, that's really exciting. So she'll have another chance to go on an airplane for the fourth time in her life, the fourth time in her very short life, and to show everyone how good she is. Um, because she really is really good. I complain about her a lot on this channel, but it's not because she's 
an awful dog. She just has so much energy. Um, she's a German Shepherd Rottweiler, and they think maybe Husky mix. So she just has like three pretty energetic dog breeds in there. Uh, you can tell. You can definitely tell. She's also eating cat litter right now. <laughs> I know I need to stop her, but I'm trying to record. I'll go um get it from her. You know, as soon as this video is over. She always does this. I'm trying to find out. They give you the stuff that you can feed your cat to where the dog, you know, like the poop tastes bad to the dogs. This is gross, I know. But they do make that. And hopefully I can get my hands on it soon. Um, yeah, back to the build. So uh, I turned this into open floor living. I used the cool kitchen stuff counters. Also, I think those are cool kitchen stuff chairs. Honestly, the only reason I used it is because I never use it and I wanted to just do something different. Um, we do not have enough counters in this game. We are severely lacking counters. If I could request anything, I want just, like, honestly, like, I wish they would make just build packs. Like, no gameplay, no cast, and I'll spend $40 to just get, like, f six different build styles that have, like, complete sets. I would pay for that, and I think other people would pay for that. And then they could also, like, branch out and do, like, just cast packs. So you could pay, like, 20 bucks and get, like, a bunch of new, like, dis designs and casts. And I think that would be kind of more, like, akin to The Sims 3 store, which I didn't hate. Everybody always talks about how much they hate it. It was expensive, but it really, um, it really gave you more options. Like, I wish we could buy individual worlds in this game. Oh, my goodness. Aside from kitchen counters, my second request is more worlds. Why do we have so little worlds in The Sims 4? It's awful. It's so restricting. And the worlds we have been getting recently suck. They're tiny. I mean, this world, um, uh, what's it called? Something Harbor? I don't remember. The world with Eco Lifestyle, it's all right. But you got my expectations high so quick with um, freaking the get-together world, Windenburg. You got my expectations so high with Windenburg. When we started this game, it was the second expansion pack. It was amazing. Like, 30 lives, like, completely distinct neighborhoods and build style. Ah, uh, chef's kiss. And then since then, we literally haven't gotten a good world. Since then, all we've gotten are, like, 14 lot shitty worlds. I think this one has, um, a little bit more, but regardless, it's tiny. It's not big enough. We're not getting enough room because I don't ever even want to put, like, we have so many community lot types and I don't want to put them anywhere because I feel like they're taking up room that needs to be used for houses. And um, this world is kind of cool because it is big. Like when you're playing in it, it feels big, but 90% of it is unplayable. Like even if they had taken some of those shells and turned them into rabbit holes, I would have been happy. Um, I know The Sims 3 did that a lot. They had buildings that were just rabbit holes that you couldn't go inside of. And I would honestly be happy if The Sims 4 did that. Just added some of the community lots into those shells that we can't actually play. And make it to where, like, if I just want to, like, send my, my Sim to the library, there's already one in the game in one of those random shells. Or I could make my own and go with them. You know, it gives you options. I like having options. I also saw this came from an idea from someone on Twitter that I'm doing now. Putting these baths in like inlets in the wall and making them look like built-ins i really like this i thought it was really fun and i was um excited to try it out as soon as i saw someone did that so i tried out here i think it looks really good i think it really just makes the place look more expensive i also put showers in the two like little columns over there and um you know you have like his and her showers maybe they want to shower at the same time and let someone take a bath you never know i'm not judging I mean, if that's how you want to live your life, that's how you should live your life. So there are showers. I think that you can access those. I didn't actually play test this. Like I said, guys, I've been feeling like crap. I feel sick. So if anything doesn't work, if you download this house and you can download it from me on the gallery, my origin ID is Marley Nicole 123 M A R L E E N I C O L E one two three. If you download this from me and something doesn't work, just remember that I've been sick and I'm sorry and I love you anyway. Um, and you know, maybe I'll fix it. I probably won't, but you can fix it. Also, when you place this lot, make sure you place it down with BB.move objects on because I placed it down without BB.move objects on to get screenshots and have the stuff disappear, which is really annoying. Um, yeah, so the sink. I found this sink. I think it is in Jungle Adventure, and I just, like, shoved it into the wall, and I think it made a really, really nice modern sink design because before that, it has that really clunky, like, wood backing behind it that I don't really like as much. Um, but when you add in that, that when you just shove it into the wall a little bit, it becomes a nice modern stone sink. So I'll definitely be doing that again. Um, I think that, like, I don't know. I've been trying to play around more with, like, 
uh, I don't know if you guys know who Geekism is, probably, but he does this with, like, Planet Zoo and Planet Coaster a lot, where he, like, puts objects together to, like, make new objects. That's something that I've really been wanting to do. So I've been trying to play around a lot with, like, what can I shove into a wall? What objects can I put together? I think I did a really, really good job of this in my, um, my LGBTQ English Summer Shell Challenge theater that I did. If you want to see that video, I'll put a link below. But, um... Uh, I think I did a really good job with that one because I made those like ticket booth holes where I like put a bunch of objects together and it looks like a place where you can like go up and buy your tickets. And I was absolutely really proud of that. But I still have an idea for geekers. Well, pretty much all of your ideas in the Sims community are just passed around. Everybody shares ideas, everybody shares inspiration. He's not even a simmer, but like the YouTube creative community. Because like there's only so much stuff that you can do with any of these creative games. And so everyone's going to end up doing the same stuff. It's kind of like I saw some beef on Twitter the other day about two people who were saying that one copied the other because they made a house that was like from the same floor plan on Pinterest. And I'm like, guys, there are only so many floor plans on Pinterest. Like we're all going to build the same stuff at some point. Like as long as you don't literally take a house from the gallery and then re-upload it as your own, you're good. Like, we all find the same floor plans on Pinterest. We all Google, like, like floorplans.com. We all go to Pinterest and look at houses. Like, we all, like, use the same sources to find inspiration. So, how do you expect that, like, out of every simmer in the community, they're never going to find the same thing? Like, two people aren't? That's crazy. Of course they are. We're all going to do the same things. Um, Everybody does, like, the same build challenges, the same cast challenges. Everybody kind of goes through, like, phases of doing the same thing at the same time. So it's not some insult if someone does something similar to what you did. It's like, um, what do they say? It's like imitation is the most sincere form of flattery. Just accept it. It's all good. Um, right now I'm upstairs. I'm working on this is going to be a guest bedroom. I'm planning on having them have another kid soon. So I just make it really generic because I know it's going to be a nursery before long. Um, it used to be the younger sister's room who is basically like the nanny of the kid. But I made her her own like apartment in the basement since, you know, we have the money and she lives here. So why not? And I thought it was nice. I thought that a house like this would work well in the basement. Oh, also I should mention I... um plucked this house from the Discover University world, uh, Brightchester, because these guys were originally in Brightchester, and then I had her completing her degree for something completely different when Eco Lifestyle trailer dropped, and then I was like, oh, switch it to biology. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna finish her degree, and we're gonna earn a bunch of money, and then we're gonna move them into this new world and make them do, like, rag switches. Um, but... The husband actually ended up earning too much money, and we bought this house before Eco Lifestyle came out, and then I had already started kind of, like, redoing it a little bit at a time, and I didn't want to start completely over. Like, I, like, I, I, like, had fell in love with this house. I really like the way it looks. I like the style of it. I like the amount of room there is, and I was like, dang, I don't want to start completely over with the whole new house, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick it up and move it into this world and pretend we lived here the whole time you know that's what these games are for sorry for that noise my cat just jumped onto where my phone is and it's recording but that's what these games are for to use your imagination so i'm imagining that this house was always here and it kind of fits into the world it looks all right it looks kind of akin to the weird house that ea built with like the weird outdoor stairs I think that these houses could be, like, related. Oh, also, I love that little table right there tucked into the nook of the stairs. I thought it was so nice. I built down here. She has, like, a little kitchenette. She has um, a little living room. And here I am finishing up. I think that I'm going to do some landscaping now. Oh, I'm fixing the windows. But downstairs, I end up giving her, like, a little kitchenette. So just, like, a fridge and a microwave and some counters. She has like her own little living space. She has a bathroom and also she has obviously her room. And then down in that living space is also kind of the wife's like um, fabrication space because we didn't really have anywhere else to put that. All right, guys, we are coming up at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to leave some links in the description to some of the videos I mentioned in this video. Um, I love you guys all so much. And if you haven't entered my giveaway yet, go check out my Twitter to see how to enter. I am giving away two packs to two people in our community. So looking forward to doing that. Thank you again so much for being here. Like and subscribe. Come back for more. And we will see you next time. Goodbye.